Hi guys, my name is Hannah M and today my friends and I are going to be showing you guys how to make a stress ball. My name is Becky and today I will be showing you how to make your own stress ball. Stress balls are great for when you're feeling a little bit anxious, a little sad, or a little bit stressed out. They keep your hands busy and they're a fun way to pass time. Let's start out with the materials you'll need. The materials you will need for this project is one to two cups of flour, one balloon, a piece of paper, some tape, an empty plastic water bottle, a spoon, and some optional things that you can have is a Sharpie or some yarn for decoration. First thing you're gonna wanna do is create your funnel. With, for that, you're gonna need your piece of paper and some tape. You're gonna start on one side of the piece of paper and begin to roll. As you're rolling, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that one side is smaller than the other. Move your paper into position and you should have your funnel. Make sure that the end of your funnel is smaller than the opening of your water bottle. Go ahead and tape off your funnel and you'll be ready to go. You will place the funnel in the empty water bottle and then start pouring flour through the funnel and then it will end up in the empty water bottle. So once you're done with that, the water bottle should look about this full and you'll wanna go ahead and take your balloon and blow it up a little bit. So this is about good. Um, so now after the balloon is blown up, you'll wanna take the mouthpiece of the balloon and put it over the mouthpiece of the water bottle. Once your balloon is secured onto your water bottle, you're gonna tip it upside down and release your balloon. You should start to feel the flower begin to go into the balloon. Okay, so once all of the flour is out of the water bottle and into the balloon, you'll go ahead and pinch the balloon off of the water bottle. And then you will slowly release all of the air. Okay, oh, some flour came out. So after you just have the flour left in the balloon, you'll wanna go ahead and tie the balloon off. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna add some fun decorations to give our stress ball a little bit of personality. You can do this by drawing a fun face with your marker or adding some crazy hair with your yarn. 